In the world of cinema, Sofia Coppola's name shines brightly, but her 12-year marriage to Thomas Mars, the frontman of Phoenix, often remains in the shadows. Today, we're delving into the life of Thomas Mars, the man behind the music and the husband of the acclaimed director. The pair's love story began on the set of Sofia's movie, The Virgin Suicides. They've been married since 2011 and share two beautiful daughters, Romy and Cosima. Although they keep a low profile as a couple, they stand by each other's side in both life and art. When Sofia faced a hurdle in securing Elvis Presley's music for her 2023 film, Priscilla, it was Thomas Mars and his band that came to the rescue, crafting an inspiring score for the film. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in 2023, Sophia revealed how their collaboration inspired creativity. The band even performed a captivating cover of Frankie Avalon's Venus. Speaking to the Madrid Daily newspaper El Pais, Thomas Mars, whose band consists of his childhood friends, confessed that he doesn't follow the conventional advice of keeping work and personal life separate. I know they say it shouldn't be done, but what do I know, it happened naturally, he said. I do this with my friends, so it's not a job. So, who exactly is Sofia Coppola's husband? Let's uncover the intriguing life of Thomas Mars and his deep connection with the talented filmmaker. Thomas Mars hails from the outskirts of Paris, near the renowned Palace of Versailles, steeped in history, grand gardens, and exquisite art. In a 2010 interview with Vulture, he described how his upbringing in this historically rich environment ignited his passion to create something new. He said, I lived in a museum. The frustration we had was that everything great happened in the past, and they wouldn't give the chance for anything new to happen. In 2022, Mars revealed to NPR that as a teenager, he refused to enter the palace, opting to explore its gardens at night. He is best known as the lead singer of the French indie rock band Phoenix. In an interview with Indie Aspect in 2018, Mars shared that he has been the band's frontman since its inception in 1996. He and his bandmates, Christian Mazalai, Laurent Brankowitz, and Deck Darcy, began creating music together at a remarkably young age. We were really about 10 years old when we started doing things, he said, recounting his early days. He also mentioned that apart from bartending, music is the only path he knows. Their fourth album, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix, even clinched a Grammy. But what's intriguing is how Mars and Sofia Coppola's paths first crossed. It all began on the set of her 1999 movie, The Virgin Suicides, where he was invited to play the drums and sing on the track Playground Love. At that time, Sofia was married to director Spike Jonze though their marriage ended in 2003. The Virgin Suicides marked the beginning of a long-standing collaboration between Coppola and Mars. Phoenix contributed music to several of Sofia's films, including Lost in Translation, Somewhere, The Bling Ring, and The Beguiled. They even made a cameo as a loop-playing quartet in her 2006 film, Marie Antoinette. In a 2017 interview with Dazed, Thomas Mars expressed his deep connection to Sophia's work. He stated, It's hard to differentiate the work from the private life, but I've always felt a really strong connection watching her movies. There are things in her movies that only make sense once you see them. Their love story reached its pinnacle on August 27, 2011, when they tied the knot in a small civil ceremony at a southern Italian villa, where Sophia's grandparents once lived. The ceremony was attended by 80 close friends and family, and their two daughters were by their side. Sophia's father, the legendary director Francis Ford Coppola, walked her down the aisle, and she donned a custom lavender dress for the special day. Notable guests included Nicolas Cage, Johnny Depp, and director George Lucas. Mars and Coppola have a strict, no public social media rule for their children. In March 2023, their daughter Romy garnered attention on TikTok for a misadventure involving Mars's credit card. She attempted to charter a helicopter from New York to Maryland to have dinner with a camp friend. The incident went viral, prompting Coppola to share that Romy's biggest rule is not having public social media accounts. While Thomas Mars didn't comment on the incident, Sophia acknowledged her daughter's sense of humor and creativity. In November 2022, 
Phoenix released their seventh studio album, Alpha Zulu, which they recorded in the Louvre during the height of the pandemic. Mars revealed that the album's name was inspired by a near-death experience he had while sitting in the co-pilot seat on a flight from Belize. As turbulence rattled the plane and the pilot desperately sought guidance from the control tower, Mars was shocked by the passengers' reactions to the possibility of impending doom. The control tower's response, Alpha Zulu, became the inspiration for the album's title. Mars recalled, I was looking at everyone screaming and reacting. I had never witnessed how someone reacts to the possibility of their death. I thought I had forgotten, but one day in the studio, improvising, I started singing, Alpha Zulu, Alpha Zulu. Thomas Mars's family is not without its own notable figures. He is the nephew of the renowned German journalist, novelist, and literary critic, Helmuth Karasek, who passed away in 2015. Mars recalled his uncle as a rich source of knowledge and a fervent supporter of Phoenix. His uncle's support was especially significant when their band was starting with Mars remembering a show where he was the first to applaud. Though Sophia and Thomas currently reside in New York, Thomas frequently travels back to Paris to work with his bandmates. He explained that their 2022 song, My Elixir, reflects the emotions of being apart from his family, capturing the essence of exile experienced during their tours and time away from home. And that's the remarkable story of Thomas Mars, the man beside the talented Sofia Coppola. The fusion of their creative worlds has produced a unique bond and left an indelible mark on the world of film and music. Thank you for joining us today at International Movie News. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting updates in the world of entertainment.